This might be a hot take for my extreme garlic lovers out there, but I personally think 10 cloves is a little too much. Hello everyone. Today we're making vegetarian chili mac, but don't, don't click off just yet. If you want meat in your chili mac, it's super easy to just add that in. So I'm gonna make it without the meat, but if you want meat in the chili mac, go ahead and add it. To start, we're going to dice up a medium onion, and the recipe calls for 12 cloves of garlic minced. Now, I like garlic, so this might be a hot take for my extreme garlic lovers out there, but I personally think 10 cloves is a little too much, so I'm going to go with 5. If you want to do 10, by all means, do it. Follow your heart. Don't let your dreams be dreams. I have a skillet here that I'm just going to put everything in to start with. One medium onion diced. And then I'm not even going to mince my garlic cloves. I'm just going to smash them and get their skins off. However you do your garlic, put it in with your onion. So if you do want to have ground turkey or ground beef in your chili mac, put your meat in with the onion and garlic and brown up the ground meat. And then you'll just have meat in addition to your onion and garlic. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm gonna get this going on the stove and we want to saute all of this up so that it gets nice and golden and delicious. All right, so while our onions and garlic and optional meat is sizzling away, be sure to keep an eye on it, stir it every once in a while. We don't want anything to burn, especially the garlic. We're going to get our crock pot liner out and we're going to just dump the rest of the ingredients in. First we have one can of kidney beans. And we're gonna drain those. One can of chili beans, and we are not going to drain our chili beans. We wanna keep all that seasoning in there. We have a 15 ounce can of stewed tomatoes. No draining those either. A can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. Mine are with garlic, but they don't have to be with garlic. Again, right in. Let's go stir our onions. Next up, we're going to add four tablespoons of tomato paste. And you can get the little cans of tomato paste at the store, but I always have a hard time finding something else to use it in or how do you store it. And so I just picked up a tube of it so you can just seal the tube right back up and keep it in your fridge and it's ready to go whenever you are for the next time. I guess it was ready. And now you might be thinking, Ray, what the heck is this? Well, our recipe calls for four cups of vegetable broth. I'm using beef broth just because I wanted a little bit more of that umami meaty flavor, especially since I'm leaving the meat out of the recipe this time. So I have better than bullion broth concentrate. And so I've just diluted four cups worth of concentrate into a cup of warm water. And however you do the broth, pour that right in. I'm gonna give that a stir. But we're not done yet. Now we have all of our seasonings to add in. So we have salt and pepper, chili powder, cumin, paprika, and cayenne. Obviously, if you don't like spicy food, you can definitely leave the cayenne out. We're only adding a quarter teaspoon, but 
it's definitely optional. So we're going to do a half teaspoon of paprika, two tablespoons of cumin, a half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of chili powder, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. So stir that all together. Let's get all those spices mixed in. Make sure they're not just floating at the top, which they're going to want to do. And then let's go get our onions and garlic. So here we have our sauteed onions and garlic. One last stir for now. And then put this in your crock pot and we're going to cook it on high for two to two and a half hours. All right, it's been a couple hours. And now is when we add in our pasta. So our recipe calls for us to add in one pound of elbow macaroni. I usually use whole wheat, but I didn't find any at the store, so we just have regular. And stir that all in. And our recipe says we're going to let this keep cooking for 15 to 40 minutes, which is quite a range, in my opinion but we're going to check it about every 15 minutes. Well, we're gonna check it after 15 minutes to see what tenderness level our noodles are at. We just don't want our noodles to get mushy. Let's check on our noodle progress. Noodle. I say we are 75% to al dente. So we're just gonna keep that going, and in the meantime, let's go shred our cheese. We need three and a half cups of shredded cheese. I'm using sharp cheddar. All right, so I just ended up shredding my whole block. So, I might have more than the three and a half cups we needed, but that's okay because we can reserve some to use as a garnish. So our pasta is tender. My pasta is tender. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in our cheese. So it's kind of important that you have a bigger crock pot because, whoa. Because as you can see, we are nearly at the brim. and then take your time and get it all stirred in. And then as you stir, your cheese will start to melt and you'll see that your juice will start to be more this creamy color. And so if you're ready to eat, you can go ahead and serve this or you can just turn your crock pot on low and keep it warm until you're ready to eat. Here we go. Top it with a little bit of extra cheddar. If you had some sour cream and you wanted to put that on top, you could do that. little bit of parsley so that we're aesthetically pleasing. So whatever you want to put on top. You could put some green onion if you wanted to. You could put oyster crackers if you wanted to. And let's dig in. That's the best vegetarian chili mac I have ever had. Ooh. Delish. 
10 out of 10 folks, go make it. Now, one thing that I will say, yes, cooking your noodles in the crock pot, super handy. So if you are going to serve this right when your pasta is done, go for it. However, because the pasta is going to end up sitting in the chili, it's going to absorb more moisture and it's going to continue to soften the pasta. So what you could do is just cook the macaroni separately and keep it separate and then like just serve your chili over your pasta and then mix it together then. But I have no complaints. Oh, and if you did as I did and just smushed your smushed your garlic cloves, I know some people enjoy just eating garlic cloves and that's fine, more power to them. If you're not a fan, just be sure to scoop them out. I'll leave the recipe down below. Go check it out, guys. Let me know what you think. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos from me, hit that subscribe button and that bell so that you know when I drop the next video. And I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy.